it seems a long time ago that I last did a product review. Um, now, whether that's that the, there's not many people bringing out new product at the moment, um, but I've got a product review for you. So this is Nike's latest uh, offering in the women's market. This is the Nike Victory Elite. Uh, catchy name, isn't it? The Victory Elite. Um, so let's have a look at the head first. Um, it is marketed as an all-round stick, um, which is kind of refreshing because there's a lot of very position-specific sticks on the market at the moment of the women's game. And um, it is sort of designed to be used as a draw stick as well. So it's got these, um, I think they call them draw tabs here, to show you here. So these little bits here, it's kind of designed to kind of sit in the back of somebody else's stick, just help on the draw. But um, it is an all round stick, used for any positions. Um, it's got a nice scoop on it, I like the scoop on this stick. Um, we'll look at the stringing, so factory stringing, it's actually got quite a nice channel in it. So as you can see, it's kind of like a, kind of like a corner pocket. Just this stripper mesh here, which is basically a cannibalized piece of men's mesh. Um, it's not dissimilar to the way that the Lunar Elites were strung. You can see here the Lunar Elites, just put the two next to each other. So the kind of mesh runner on the Victory Elite is a lot thinner than it was on the, uh, the Lunar Fly. So let's lose that Lunar Fly, let's put that one back there. But yes, yeah, so it's actually quite a, a well-strung factory stick, this. And um, take a look at the offset there. So of course, most elite level women's sticks now, it's, the bottom rail all has this kind of sloping ramp. It's just to help force the ball to the sweet spot of the stick. And I've got to say, it's quite a robust head, this, for a women's stick. Because I usually find women's sticks a little bit kind of soft and on the flimsy side. This is quite a stiff stick. So I think longevity-wise, this, you know, this, this is something worth looking at, I think. And it um, comes in two factory options, which is the all-white and all-black, which I don't have to show you currently. Um, but I do have a couple of custom ones to show you, which are on the website. Because, of course, we know all-black is cool and all-white is fresh, but customer is, is just cool. So let's have a look at a couple of custom ones I've just gone up on the website. So we have this one here, which is kind of like a fiery themed die. And uh, this one has actually got, uh, what mesh is in this one? This has got, I think this is ignition mesh from True. It's actually made by the Mesh Dynasty. This one's actually got a Lunar Elite handle on it. That's a good looking stick. Nice pocket on this one. Nice high pockets. Uh, what's in this one? This has uh, Crux, SDX Crux 2 mesh in it, which again is made by the Mesh Dynasty. Again, big fan of this Crux 2 mesh actually. A nice purple fade on there. Um, this actually has a Lunar Fly handle on it. Uh, it's been a popular handle, the Lunar Fly. It's a good looking stick. And a uh, big fan of these leathers as well from Black Room, these stitched leathers, very cool. But let's just go back to the, um, the factory option Lunar Elite, sorry, the uh, Victory Elite. So it's actually got a couple of interesting features on it. So the throat here is kind of like cut at this angle. So I'm guessing that's to get your hand a little bit further up on the draw, which you do see on the new Exult Pro. That has a shortened throat. Uh, you might have seen that in uh, one of our other reviews. Now, this section of the handle here and this section here, has like a very fine sandpaper grip to it. So again, that's gonna be advantageous on the draw. Kind of a nice feel to it. Uh, it's kind of like teardrop shape handle that you'll be familiar with from SCX. And um, one thing I do find a little bit odd. So you look at this and you think, well, oh, it's an end cap, regular end cap. It's not, it's one of these, um, it's a molded end cap. Now, usually on these molded end caps, you see these very, very flat end caps. This is like a whole molded end cap, which just looks a little bit strange. But um, just thought I'd show you that. But all in all, quite an impressive stick, I think, from Nike. And um, the strange thing is with Nike, a lot of people say, oh, I didn't know Nike made sticks. Or Nike, however you pronounce it. Well, I've always pronounced it Nike. So I know some people say Nike. 
Um, but the surprise amount of people don't realize Nike makes sticks. Um, SDX actually make Nike's equipment, but it's just marketed really, really badly. You know, I think I might have said this in reviews before, but I'm always surprised how badly Nike equipment is marketed, which is really, really strange for such a huge company. Um, don't know why. So if Nike, you're looking for someone to work in your marketing department, I think I'm going to do a better job than whoever's marketing in the little cross equipment at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a surprisingly good stick. And um, I'm a big fan of this. I think it's going to be a good seller. So yeah, look out for this. If you get a chance to try one out and uh, try one out, let us know what you think.